Hi, this is Ryan Lynn, and I'm going to be talking about using Metasploit Autopone in Beef. You can find me at Sasuro on Twitter or blog.happypacket.net. To download Beef, you can go to bindshell.net. The Samurai WTF framework, which we're using today, you can find at samurai.nguardians.com. Metasploit, you can find at www.metasploit.com. And in case you missed it last time, the Beef demo hook URL. You can find that at http colon slash slash the IP address of your beef server slash beef slash hook slash example dot php. We're going to go back to our beef session. And we can see that we have two zombies here. One is us. We can see it's Firefox under Linux. And the other is IE under Windows, which is going to be the target that we're attacking today. We're going to go and make sure Metasploit is still set up correctly. We're going to do that by going to the MSF browser exploit. We can see here that it loaded the list of exploits automatically from within Metasploit, so we know that this is working correctly. We're going to be testing out the Autopone feature today, so we're going to go under Browser mod Modules and choose MSF Browser Autopone. We're going to select our zombie, which is our Windows XP uh, Internet Explorer box. We need to set our lhost variable to the host that we're running Metasploit on, which is in this case the same box we're running Beef on. So we're going to use 192.168.1.235. The next thing we're going to do is hit send. And we should see Autopone exploit launched over in a log window. So the lhost is required because we're going to be using the interpreter reverse TCP shell, which requires a host and a port to connect back to. Our actual uh, server for Metasploit is going to be listening on all addresses on port 8080 and is going to be serving off the path beef. So what we're going to be doing is loading up in, in Metasploit a list of modules. They'll be served by the browser Autopone web server for uh, Metasploit and it will be listening at all addresses on this box on port 8080 at the URL slash beef. So we can actually go and look and make sure that those modules are being loaded. By typing in jobs, we can see that a number of these have already been loaded in. Beef has a delay between when it sends the information to Metasploit for what modules to automatically load, between when it sends it the modules to automatically load, and when it sends it to the browser, so that we don't send traffic to Metasploit before all the modules are loaded. At this point, we should have had our URL sent over to our Internet Explorer, and we're just waiting for a shell to pop up. So, we're going to have to wait for just a second, and as the browser loads through all of these modules, as the different features are exploited, we should see sessions pop up. So from here, we can type in sessions-l and see the two sessions we have. Type in sessions-l-v to see which uh, exploit worked. And now if we want to interact with one, we can do sessions-i1 to interact with session 1 and get UID fails. But when we type in ls, that fails too. So apparently this session did not work. So we're going to suspend this one. And we're going to look at our sessions again. Let's try session two. Get UID worked this time. Because we're running browser autopone, occasionally the browser is unstable. So you'll usually get one that works and maybe some others that don't. So in this case, we know that we're in as the server name as VM1 and the user is test. And we can look and we can see that there's no files in the user's desktop. Again, we're using Metasploit Autopone within Beef. There's my contact info for more. And uh, you can download all of the stuff at these links here.